We're back with Carl Grimm, our garden guru from the Metro. Today we're talking creepy crawlers. That's right. The vast majority of bugs in your garden are actually helping it to grow. And if you look under stuff during the day, you might be able to find some creatures that might become your next best friend. Can we go see what we can find in your yard? Let's check it out. Okay. We found all kinds of creepy crawlers. Both of us got some worms. Why are these good? Well, worms uh, till the soil and they clean up leaf debris. They also add nutrients that plants can use all without chemical fertilizers. And my worms are a lot different than yours. Yeah, you, you got some night crawlers and I got the ones out of the compost bin. They're just a different, uh, different species. Okay, let's talk about the bugs. What did you find? I found these little beetles. And I found some uh, centipedes. Check them out. So black beetles uh, and centipedes are both predators. And this means that they eat other bugs. They even eat slugs and other garden thugs. Those so little I, bugs? Yeah, they, they're really great for the garden. So um, I really like them because they help to fight pests without pesticides. Tell me about these guys. I've always known these are good spiders. You don't want to kill these. Yeah, these are daddy long legs and they're not really spiders. They're closely related, but they also eat bugs at night while you sleep. So you don't need as many pesticides, or you don't need any pesticides, because the bugs can do the work for you. So how do you encourage these good guys to multiply in your yard? Well, there's all different ways. One way is by composting. So if you want to join the already 500,000 people throughout the region who make compost at home, now is a great time, and that'll encourage good bugs in your garden. You can also use mulch and plant native plants, and lay off the pesticides, because those things will kill those bugs. And they're also dangerous for children, pets, rivers, and streams. We have some great publications. Uh, the Natural Gardening Booklet describes many of these creatures and how they help your garden and other creatures and how to control them uh, safely. And uh, Metro partners with uh, the Oregon State University Extension Service to offer a whole range of natural gardening programs to help residents to garden without chemicals. Carl Grimm, Metro's gardening guru. I learned a ton, thank you so much. We're going to have a link to the Metro website on our website, kptv.com.